we're going to bring in Rich Templeton, chairman and chief executive, live from San Francisco over the phone here at Texas Instruments. Rich, it's a pleasure to have you on the, uh, on the phone here with us. Don, it's great to be here today. Yeah, we just want to ask you, first of all, we'd be remiss if we didn't ask you, first of all, why pay $25 for a stock that was worth just $14 yesterday? Yeah, you know, Dom, the, the analysis, and we spent, you can imagine, a tremendous amount of time was really looking at what type of return on invested capital that we could get to. And that is all about uh, how fast we grow. So the, the real economics behind this deal is, and you talked about it in the intro, take the 12,000 great products that National has in the analog semiconductor market, get them in the hands of our sales force, which combined is 10 times larger than the current uh, National sales force, and accelerate their growth. And that's where the, the economics and the returns come, and that's what drives the return on invested capital, even at those premiums. All right, speaking of driving returns, Rich, we're getting headlines here that you've been downgraded over at credit sites. Now, here's the issue here. You've had a very clean balance sheet, virtually no debt, yet you're going to take on quite a bit of it with this acquisition. Why take the risk of putting that debt on your balance sheet now for National Semiconductor? Well, if you take a look at the, the balance sheet and really the secret behind TI has been the portfolio and the ability to generate cash from that portfolio. So we've been a very strong generator of cash. And if you take a look, the analog business will now be, once this acquisition is closed, 50% of the revenue. So the cash flow generation of Texas Instruments actually gets stronger through this. And I think that's going to be a great benefit to the long-term uh, shareholder. Hey, hey, Rich, analysts are also skeptical right now about how complementary these products actually can be. You've got about 42,000, I believe is the estimate, new products that will be combined together in that new catalog between National Semi and Texas Instruments. Is there a lot of overlap, and is there a reason why National Semi is the right fit for you guys? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it is a case that if you sit back at a very high level, uh, we've got a large power management, which is a type of analog chip business. Uh, National has a very strong position in power management. But when you go down deeper into the portfolio and you look at the technical distinction between our parts and the types of markets we serve, you actually see very little overlap. So they've got a strong position with industrial customers, while we tend to be more oriented around uh, portable and mobile data devices. So when we've studied the portfolios, even though the, the names of the end markets that we're in sound the same, you look at the applications, you look at the devices, we think they're going to be very complementary. Hey, hey, Rich, you mentioned power management technology circuits. How much will alternative energy, smart grids, power grid upgrades worldwide play into your business plan going into the, the, the next few years here? Yeah, you know, Dom, the way I put it is if you get on most shows uh, uh, out in the world and, uh, and what people see, people end up talking about tablets, they talk smartphones, those are the big easy headlines. But even in our introduction, you talked about the build-out of grids or smarter grids. So it will be a part of our business going forward. What we think it represents is the fact that there are analog chips literally in everything electronic automobiles, uh, the infrastructure, smart grid like you talked about, alternate lighting, uh, LED lighting that can drive things, making motors, sm motors smarter so that they use less energy. Uh, that's the beauty about a wonderful analog portfolio is you literally have something to sell everybody in the world that designs a piece of electronic equipment. Hey, Rich, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and chat with us here. That's Rich Templeton, Chairman and Chief Executive over at Texas Instruments. With that, Margaret, I'll toss it back to you.